If you're looking at buying an e-bike but don't understand all the ins and outs of the battery, then this is the video for you. While shopping around for an e-bike, you may have seen numbers and letters being combined together like 48V, 12.8AH, or... And if you're like me, the last time I had to figure out numbers and letters together, I was in math class. And if you're like me, you probably didn't pay much attention in math class. I mean, Mary Hart was pretty distracting, if you know what I mean. Yeah, me too. She's so cool and pretty. Well, don't worry. You don't need to be a trigonometry ninja to make sense of all this. You are ninja. In the next few minutes, I'll take you through some battery basics, which will help you choose the e-bike that will fit your needs. First, let's understand the letters. Now, V stands for volts. Now, without getting too scientific, we can basically say that voltage pretty much means more power. Higher volts suggest higher power. AH stands for amp hours. Amp hours are an indication of the capacity of the e-bike's battery. Higher amp hours suggest higher range. And WH is watt hours. This is a way to measure the amount of work performed or generated. It's the combination of volts and amp hours. All these components together are going to help you calculate the approximate distance you can get out of the battery before it runs out of power. Now, knowing how far you can go on a single charge is something you really want to pay attention to, especially if you're going to be in the backcountry, because the last thing you want to do is to run out of juice and be stranded in the woods, because Bigfoot is real and he's dangerous. Who? Bigfoot! Now, let's use some of the numbers and letters I mentioned earlier, combined with the power of math. Math, 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 math. For battery one, we have 36 volts, 12.8 amp hour battery. And for battery number two, we have 48 volt, 25 amp hour battery. Obviously battery number two has bigger numbers, but does that really translate into a lot more distance? Well, let's see. Your first step is to calculate the watt hours. To do so, you simply multiply the volts by the amp hours and voila, you've got watt hours. Using our examples above, you'll see that battery number one has, uh, let's do the math. <laughs> okay, hold on, calculator. 460.8 watt hours, while battery number two has... Are you kidding me? That's a 1200 watt hour battery. Now, how do watt hours translate into distance? And just to be clear, distance is impacted by a lot of variables. And we have another video that will explain all of that. But for now, let's keep it simple. A lot of experts agree that if you take the watt hours and divide by 20, you'll get a relatively good estimation of your maximum range in miles. On some e-bike websites, you may see different numbers or combinations of these numbers. Now with these simple equations, you can make the calculations and compare them apples to apples or watt hours to watt hours. Although apples to apples is more appealing. See what I did there? Uh, very funny. Our customers have repeatedly told us that distance is one of the most important factors in deciding which e-bike they choose. Keep in mind that the bigger the battery, the bigger your gas tank and the further you'll be able to go. At Baku, we have the 48 volt, 25 amp hour battery. Now using the equations I provided, go ahead and figure out what that range is. I'll help you cheat. That's a 1200 watt hour battery with an expected range of 60 miles. Hopefully this will help you on your journey to choosing the right e-bike. Now I suggest Baku, but I'm a little biased. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us. And if you're interested in taking out one of our e-bikes on a test run, feel free to visit a local certified Baku dealer. Thanks for watching and happy trails.